my family came here in 1946. My dad went to the Methodist church, so he parked over here and he'd leave us four kids to come in here to Sunday school. And uh, so the Methodist church was up where the firehouse is now. But anyway, we would come in here on, uh, no one was with us, mom or dad, and we were really well behaved. But uh, we'd come out of the mountains, really, in southwestern Virginia. And it was a big new church, and I was really excited about it, you know. We always had the Sunday school here, and then there's a building in the back here, the next door, that was Sunday school uh, part two, that we had Sunday school classes over there. But um, Dr. Edwards was the uh, preacher when we first came here. Anyway, uh, as kids, after Sunday school, we would come over, and we would always go up in the balcony to uh, uh, sort of unsupervised. And there was a guy. So we could misbehave. Yeah. <laughs> but it you was, behave. There was the, uh, the custodian, Mr. Washington. Thomas he was a, Washington. He was a black fella, and uh, he, he had little wire rim glasses. He'd sit up there, and he'd always say, You boys better be quiet now. <laughs> or something. But the most amazing thing about that was we sat up there, and they had this teacher, music director, Mrs. Warren. And she taught voice here in the town. And she got up there, and we were sitting in there, and she came down to the edge of the balcony there, and up here was the choir and the loft, and she directed them from back there. Well, we were just little kids, you know, nine years old, from a little country church up on the side of the mountain. And this woman got up, you know, and she stand up and we, what's going on here? We didn't know what she was doing. And she would raise the uh, stick, you know, and the choir would stand up anyway. That was amazing to us that she, we finally figured out what she had something to do with these people singing up here. <laughs> so.